How's it going, YouTube? This is Fleet. I'm in the war room, and today I'm going to be going over a couple of things uh, in reference to the HSP D3 chest rig and uh, tactical assault gear, banshee plate carriers. Okay. Now, the original setup I had, I did use the existing clips that came with the banshee on the sides, and I went ahead and rigged them to the top. Okay. I'll get into more detail later how I did this and how I slipped them in and how I secured them with some other little details there. Uh, but the cool thing about this is that you really don't have to use anything or buy anything extra. You can just go ahead and get the D3 test rig system and pretty much, as you can see, the Velcro put it in. And once you adjust it to your size, okay. You take out the backing rail pull off. You snap the existing clips you went ahead and modified put on the top. Now, these are the ones that came with my my banshee, the tan one. So you can go ahead and as you can see, it'll sit literally. Once you weave these in here, okay, they should stabilize the whole system, the whole platform, okay? Now, depending on how big you are, and it would be helpful if you have needing those pliers to slip them in, but you guys get the picture. Anyway, let me see if I can bring it up. Sorry. As you can see right there, it holds them, but you still have that one here. And they only come with two, so you have one each side. With the Velcro, it should stabilize the whole chest rig onto the plate carrier. Now, I went ahead and followed Mr. Haley's recommendation and got the Mayflower Split Clips from USEliteGear.com. These little bag rolls cost about $17.99 uh, to 20 bucks, And um, they come with four, so you can go ahead, as you can see, and adjust both, all four clips. You're still going to need to use the existing clips that came with the Banshee for the top clip part, right? For the top right, right here. Now, right here, you can see, you can notice that I added a little extra uh, mouse clips. I think that's what it's called. If you look right there, okay, slip right out. They were kind of long because those are the ones that I had available for me, so I went ahead and cut them, but I'm pretty sure you can get them in two inch size. What this does, it holds. As the weight of the, the chest rig pulls down, it holds the flap in place. Okay. Now, normally I have uh, these little mock plate carriers that I normally put to stabilize my whole gear, as you can see right here. And uh, this is a different setup now compared to the D3. But you can see right here. It's a little foam pad, maybe extra. Comfiness and in the front, I put a little piece of cardboard with gorilla tape, give it a little more stability to your gear. And it slips right in, it's really comfy. Okay, as you can see, it's sturdy, stays up tight. You know, same thing once I put the plates in, it fills in. And these little baggers, like I said, they clean up pretty easy. You don't have no modifications to it, painless. And it really, really leaves your your gear set in place how you according to your size and how you want it. All right. Um, other than that, it's really not much to it. Or you can go ahead and get yourself a Mayflower vest, which is probably about more than double the price of the Banshee, and it save yourself the headache of modifying two little clips from the top part because it does come with it. But uh, other than that, guys, hopefully you like the. Little details that I was missing in my last video, and I'll, I'll go ahead and put up a little close review step by step in a little bit. Alright?